I think the art car should have a higher clout because they're always on the go and they're mm -hmm. always uh, putting it out there to the public, whereas Burning Man vehicles just do it here. And I gotta say, a lot more time and work, passion, love goes into an art car because you have to test it on the highways and, and mm -hmm. the weather and the people and you have to modify it and make it work and over time it gets better and better and better and and whereas a vehicle that's made to participate in Burning Man may not be as involved. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't like mutant vehicles. I love them. I think they're great. Yeah. I love them. But I think that Art cars should definitely have um, a carte blanche yeah. entrance into the event. Mm -hmm. Because they're just shown around all the time. Yeah, and, and they're they're street legal. They're mm -hmm. already legal. Mutant vehicles have not been tested for roadworthiness. Yeah. It's more dangerous. Not everybody knows how to weld right. Not everybody knows how to attach. A 350 pound couch on top of their car so I don't know if they want to inspect vehicles they should inspect inspect those types that have not been street legal for I'd say more than a year if it's a new art car yeah you might want to inspect it and see if the person really knew how to attach uh, all those iron skillets or whatever you know because it, it's tricky to, to attach things that will last in high winds and weather and all that stuff. So what advice would you give to somebody who wanted to start an art car? Well, you better like what you're going to do because it's going to take you a lot of time, a lot of effort, mm -hmm. and a lot of money. And if you don't really, really like what you're doing, you're going to not, not bring it through fruition. So. I would say the more passionate you are about your idea, the mm -hmm. better. And just go for it. That's, that's what I would advise. Um, it's, it's a lot harder than, than it looks. People think you can make an art car or a mutant vehicle in a week. Uh -huh. That ain't going to happen. Uh -uh. And if it does happen, it's going to be very... Um, thrown together. Very thrown together, and it's going to come apart very quickly. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I would advise is, is know what you want. Mm -hmm. Know what you want it to look like, and know, you know, know what you're interested in, and your aesthetic, and then, and then research the way you attach things or paint things mm -hmm. or what kind of paints to use and all of those things need to be tested because I've known people that have made an art car with like let's just say baseball cards mm -hmm. and they covered the car with baseball cards but they didn't clear coat it with any UV protectant mm -hmm. and three weeks later the baseball cards were all faded Oh, you know and they spent months and months and months making this thing but oh. they didn't research it mm -hmm. and get help yeah, because there's a lot of work put into these things. Yeah, and I would also say get advice from people that have already been there and done that, you know. If you want to paint a car, talk to some people that have already painted a car. Talk to you. No, I'm too busy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me. I, I'll help, but I can't help. I, I wrote a book. Read the book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do get a lot of people asking advice, and I will mm -hmm. try and answer it when I can, but sometimes it's, somebody will ask me, what kind of paints you use? And then I'll tell them, and I'll write this huge email, and then two days later, hey, I'm making an art car. What kind of paint should I use? I'm like, oh, no. I already did that. Yours? Yes. It's wonderful. Thank you. What year is it? 65. 65. Want a postcard? Can I look at it closely? Sure. Sure. <laughs> it 
It's hysterical. So how did you start? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I just I just told them. Oh. Um, you'll so have you're to sorry? watch her you'll have to watch her movie when it comes out. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to. Oh, I'd love to. So you're doing it So you're being filmed in the documentary. Say right hi. Now? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Your perfect example. We were just about to. We weren't sure what we were about to do, and then you come up. Is this your car? It's great. So here we go. Oh, that is so great. It's such a great. I mean, dual. The car itself is great, and the documentary is great. I wish cool. you a lot of luck. Thanks. We're going Thanks. to drink absinthe now if we can find it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Exhibit A. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. <laughs> what do you think of that? People like your car. Yes, and absinthe. And absinthe. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, that is precious. You're getting copies of that. <laughs> that. Oh. All right, you got anything else there, Soph? Well, I didn't even pre-write the questions. Well, I'm just any well, let me ask you this. Okay. Flip interview, you ask me questions. Yes. What else have you interviewed? Who else have you interviewed? Larry. And? Larry. And? Larry. And? Larry. Larry, 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 and Larry. Okay, well. That's as far as we've gotten. So you've got Larry, and then you've got me. Now, how do those two fit together? Burning Man. Okay. And how more? I don't know. Ask him. He's filming. <laughs> I think that's the question you need to ask yourself because somehow it all means something. I don't uh, know. I would say that Larry, let's see. I would say that art cars are a viable part of Burning Man. I would say that what defines Burning Man, mm -hmm. art cars would be in the list somewhere. Yeah. And I well, think art in general. Art in general, of course, but art cars specifically, yes. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's a lot of things that fit in how you would describe Burning Man. It would be in it, but art cars are just one thing. And in that one thing, I would be one of the guys that dedicated his life mm -hmm. to this medium. So, I gotta say, if you're, you've done Larry and me, you've done the one-two punch with the two <laughs> experts in whatever they're doing, you <laughs> yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can go and interview uh, Crimson on Fire Dancing. She's mm -hmm. one of the, ex you know, you... Yeah. But I also want to go around and, like, interview random people and be like, Hi, is this your first Burning Man? How do you like it? What's your favorite part? That'd be cool. Yep. You should be taking notes, cameraman. Oh, I've got plenty of notes. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to everything you say. There you go. And then watch it afterwards. Have you watched the Larry interview? We have not reviewed the Larry interview since we... Do you have a monitor? Yeah, I got... Well, I've got the... I've got... Yeah. Okay. Do you want to see the Larry interview? I don't want to see it because I'm going to see enough of it already. I'm, I'm making a movie myself. Did you know that? Uh-uh. Yeah, when is your movie out? <laughs> yes. Did you know that I interviewed your father? And you didn't tell me this, Mr. I actually, <laughs> I actually did two years ago. You've just forgotten. You don't pay attention to me when I come back from Burning Man because I'm too dusty. <laughs> there you go. No, I, I pay attention. I just keep a 10-foot distance. <laughs> well, I did interview him in a dust storm, and it was Wavy Gravy's first time experience in a dust storm, and he talked about the nature of dust storms, and he nailed it. I don't have to ever ask another person about dust storms. <laughs> he really did. So, yes, I've been making a movie for 10 years. Wow. Almost your age, which is scary. Well, three years off, but yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, ten, almost. Almost ten years. That's the, that's too damn long. But anyways, yes, I've I've been 
And you know what's funny? I'm trying to figure out what kind of movie I'm making. Mm-hmm. See? And so you ask me what kind of movie I'm making, hoping so then I, I have could, any idea yeah, at all. Yeah. <laughs> then I could take your ideas, yeah, and use them. No, you're not allowed to steal my idea, <laughs> even though I don't even have one. Yeah. No, it's a hard, very hard film to make. Still no stealing of ideas. <laughs> right. <laughs> no problem. Alrighty. Anything else, young lady, that you can think of? In this golden opportunity, before the moment passes? This is it, because <laughs> you might not catch me again this trip for interviews. Maybe. Any all-important burning question? What's the most... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What's the most curious thing that you wonder about, about Burning Man? What's your biggest question so far? I don't have questions. I ride around on my bike and answer them. You have no questions. You don't wonder why this or why that. Do you wonder why your dad goes to Burning Man? I wonder why he bothers to get so dusty. (laughs) No, no, really. It's fun. It's really cool. So, have you ever counted how many trinkets are on this thing? Good subject change. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, I have never counted. Wild I, guess. I don't want to count. All <laughs> yeah, really. On this, I have better things to do than to count my items. <laughs> that would be a fun project, that though. Would, <laughs> hey, you could raffle the car off. Guess how many items there are, and you win the car. <laughs> I would say there's in the range of a thousand, more or less. Gazillions. Not gazillions, a thou. I'd say a thousand. Well, I'd say gazillions. It looks like gazillions because the way they're spaced and everything, it just looks like you have a lot. And you're just looking at the inside. And you're just looking at one art car. I've looked at the outside. No, but you're right. Okay, All well, right. let's get the let's get the light off this poor, poor guy's eyes. We're yeah, done? your eyes are getting shiny. You're like are they? your eyes are tearing up slightly. Thanks a lot because of All the right. bright light. Wonderful. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I can turn the duck on if you want. Oh yeah, sure. Hello. Oh, let's get Thank you, sir. I'm freezing.